In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a wooden signboard infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this wooden frame. You can see here the two vertical uh, woods and one horizontal. And then I have added some shadow and some small grass effect there. And when I click, you can see here the rope comes which is hanging with the rope and then a big wooden block with the text welcome you can add any text as per your requirement so i have created two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so here i am using the 2019 powerpoint version for this particular design and for this you need uh, maybe some subtract uh, option which is under merge shapes and this is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using 2003 or 2007 this is not there and i have used two wooden images which i have downloaded from the unsplash.com so you can just download this image and use it for this slide purpose so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape and I'm going to draw a vertical uh, shape here uh, in the form of a rectangle. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. You can see here, you can just make it some kind of uh, not a straight line, just a little bit bent here and there. And then I'm just going to, from the top also, I'm just going to make something like this. You can see here. And depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. And then I'm just going to join this when you see a blue color like this just click ok then shape outline you can make it no outline and if you want to increase the size you can increase something like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a image here which i've downloaded from the net to add the image right mouse click go to format shape and select the picture or texture fill you can see here so by default i have added before that's the reason it's coming or you can just simply go to insert from a file wherever you have downloaded the file you can just choose the path and add the image so once you have added the image here then what you can do is you have to go to the effects and go to the 3d rotation and i'm going to use or choose this one you can see here either the oblique top left or this one so whichever way maybe i'm just going to select this then go to 3d format and increase the depth so you can see here you can just increase the depth something like this all right so it gives you a 3d look here all right now what i'm going to do is i can increase the size further if you want you can reduce the width so depending on your requirement you can adjust it then press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add one more here you can see here just add it so again how much the width or height or how much the space you want to give you can just choose that one and then what you can do is you know it looks the same so i'm just going to right mouse click edit points and i'm just going to zoom in and i will just do a little bit change here so that it should not give a same look and feel so let me just give something like this you can see here so it gives you two different feeling here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add one more at the top here so go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the same here you can see you're starting from this again don't make a straight line otherwise it will not look uh, real then so again you can see here and then again i'm just going to make it somewhat zigzag and then when you see this blue just click it again shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to add the picture here here you can see here instead of like this you need to add 
the picture which is the vertical which I have shown in the image before. So I am just going to choose that particular image for this. So go to insert and choose the image where you have saved the file. So I have selected this particular image and then you can just untick this one and depending on your uh, requirement you can see here you can just increase the, the offset bottom something like this and then here also I can just make it more up. So you can see here it gives you more a realistic look. Now again if you want to give some a 3D effect also you can give not a problem for that. Now I am going to put some bolts here. So for that go to insert shapes and I'm from the flowchart I'm going to select this one. Can you see here the flowchart summing junction? I'm just going to draw it by holding the shift key. Let me just zoom in so it looks something like this. Shape outline I can give some light color and shape fill you can give some dark color or lighter color depending on your requirements. So I'm just going to make it somewhat light gray then go to the effects and go to the 3d format i'm going to select this one which is round you can see here or you can choose whichever way you feel better and then go to the shadow effect and give some shadow effect here all right and if you want to increase the distance also you can see here it looks something like this then let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and add the other side as well and then you can give some shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a right triangle draw a right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level then go to the effects under soft edges i'm just going to increase the size something like this and then i'm just going to rotate it you can see here i can just flip horizontal and then i'm just going to flip vertical and then I'm just going to add something like this, some shadow effect. You can see here, let me just add more soft edges to it and increase the size. You can see here, like this, you can give the shadow effect and then send this to back. All right, so again, Control D, bring the other side. Again, send this to back. So you can see here some shadow effect. I have created if you want again you can add some shadow effect behind sorry below this part also so once this is done i'm going to give a shadow effect at the bottom part also so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size later on we can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline i'm going to select a gradient fill and gradient fill i'm going to choose the type as radial and direction from the center and i'm going to select this one the first top make it a black and the second one i'm going to choose white and increase the transparency level and this also i'm going to increase the transparency level go to the effects and soft adjust increase the size something like this you can see here and then just select this one send to back Press Ctrl D to duplicate, add the other side also and again send this to back. So like this you can add the shadow effect. So I can just move it somewhat up also. Now you can see here the basic design is ready. Now it's time to add the, our main uh, shape where we are going to add some text or image whatever you like you can do that one. So if you want to add some uh, grass or some leaves at the bottom also you can do it. So go to insert shapes. You can see I'm just going to select uh, this curve shape and then just do something like this. You can see here and then just attach like that and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give uh, sorry the shape fill you can give a green color again reduce the size depending on your requirement again go to insert shapes select this one again the curve and this time i'm just going to give somewhat bigger but more you can see here something like this again shape fill make it no fill shape outline so shape fill make it green and shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can give some different color combination also so likewise you can just add three four depending on your requirement again i'm just going to add it here you 
you can see here something like this again green shape outline make it no outline and you can just send this to back so depending like this you can just select this three so I've just given one example you can add more also press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it here ctrl g to group and then you can just rotate it flip horizontal something like this so now i'm going to add the uh, rectangle where we are going to add the text for that go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the free form shape and then i'm just going to start from the top make something like this and then somewhere you can just give some some cut like this also so you can see here then I'm just, if you want further you can just add it then I'm just going to add something like this till here then again I'm just going to do somewhat cut all right so again maybe again one more cut here then let me just attach to this something like this you can see here again shape outline make it no outline again if you want you can increase or decrease the size and then i'm going to add the same the picture the wooden picture so i'm just going to select this one picture or texture fill you can see here and then you can give some a uh, 3d effect so go to the effects and here again 3d rotation i'm just going to select this you can see here again one more and increase the depth here just go to the depth and increase it so it looks something like this you can see here maybe 25 30 whatever depending on your requirement now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add two holes here so that we can hang this one with a rope so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d add the other side also something like this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select these two uh, circles also then you can go to the format merge shape i'm just going to do a fragment or you can just you can see here i can make it subtract also so whichever way you feel easy so i'm just going to do a subtract so it looks something like this okay so you can see here now this one is ready now i'm going to uh, draw a rope again with the help of the line so let me just do the same thing i will zoom in so that you understand what exactly i'm trying to do so go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one the curve draw a curve something like this you can see here and double click shape outline make it a dark color any brown color then i'm going to increase the line width here just increase the width here so maybe 6.5 7 maybe 8 whatever depending on the requirement then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add few more at the bottom just double click again i'm going to select this format go to home format painter and click on this line you can see here if you want you can just reduce it again i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d reduce the size and then just add it here at the below then go to insert shapes again select this one from this one i'm just going to make some more curve shape and bring it here till the hole and double click again give the same format painter you can see here something like this maybe you can increase the size and then i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and go to format i'm just going to rotate it something like this and then attach this one and send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this and if you don't want like that what you can do is you can attach it here at the bottom something like this and then you can duplicate this you know i'm going to give a knot here not design okay so i'm just going to add one press ctrl d one more reduce the size something like this all right and again go to insert shapes 
I'm going to add a small something like this and this also the same shape the color and increase the width you can see here again duplicate this rotate this and then just add it here all right so you see here it looks something like this then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to bring it here all right zoom in i'm just going to select this go to format and send to back all right and again if you want you can right mouse click edit point increase the size because the shape is not equal here so it looks something like this so you can see here our design is ready now it's time to add some text on this wooden block so to add the text i'm just going to insert text box and i'm going to type i'm just saying welcome any text you can type it here and i'm going to make it center align give a brown font and i'm talking i'm going to take the hand of sean make it bold if you want or just increase the size you can see here something like this sorry i'm just going to select this make it up i can make it more darker also or lighter depending on the requirement so let it be the same thing and then go to the format go to text effects and go to bevel you can choose any of these from here you can see here maybe i can just going to choose the relaxed insert okay so you can just add it something like this now uh, what we can do is uh, to give the animation we need to group it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select from here the top all right select this one you can see here all right and then I'm, what i'm going to do this one the rope which is the back side i'm going to uncheck that one or deselect that one so hold the shift key and just click it here so that is deselected then here also i'm going to deselect that and press ctrl g so it looks you can see here something like this all right so now i'm going to add the animation so go to the animations tab enable the animation pane the first rope i'm going to give wipe effect make it from top and the same animation effect i'm going to copy for this all right and then this should happen with previous so at the same time this should happen and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this add animation go to more entrance effect stretch click OK and stretch from top so it comes something like this you can see here this should happen after previous and then this two rows which is back side I'm going to give the wipe animation okay so something like this and this should happen after previous and again the same thing wipe again this should happen with previous so if i play the animation it looks something like this actually i forgot to add this one here you can see here let me just sorry if you see here i forgot here to group this one but anyway not a problem so it looks something like this all right so this way you can do uh, this kind of design and as i said you can replace this text with any text or image or you can think of a lot of different ways to use this particular slide